Good evening. Welcome to the InfoWars Nightly News Home Version. I'm delayed for Prez. It's August 6th, 2012. 9 11. 9 11. September 11th. 9 1 1. How many times have I read that and heard that in the past 24 hours? Oh, thanks to what? Some tattoo that guy had on his body? Of what? 9 11, the Twin Towers? Ladies and gentlemen, I've seen a lot of soldiers with that and heard from other soldiers that wanted to get that tattooed on their body. Never forget 9-11. Well, we all saw what happened at the 10-year anniversary. Any mention of 9-11, my friend, that's a hate crime. Okay? It's a thought crime to even think it. 9-11. September 11th, 2001. 11 years ago. When those planes, and I think you know the story, the Twin Towers, Building 7, collapsed in their own footprint. Well, <laughs> let's not dredge up that part. Let's not worry about any future investigation. Let's just say if a guy's got it tattooed on his body and the cops shoot him dead outside the temple, where on the inside of the temple, him and his buddies just shot five people dead. 9-11, 9-11, 9-11, get it in your heads. All right? We're going to keep drilling it in because anytime new terror comes up, we got to remind you about the old terror because we have an agenda and it goes as the following 9 11, hate crime, domestic terrorism, white supremacist, white supremacy, mostly white supremacist. That's a label. A white supremacist, well, it's normally white people who believe that they're superior to other races. Typically anti-Semitic, xenophobic, and anti-government. Alright? And they probably have 9-11 tattoos on their body. And other white supremacist tattoos on their body. They were probably in uh, white supremacist bands. Uh, they're anti-government now. Have probably after they were, uh, you know, semi-honorably or... Uh, didn't say dishonorably discharged this guy Paige. He was uh, less than honorably discharged, something like that. So, but also the white supremacists. Oh, the TSA wants you to know that they do have uh, Christian values, usually, typically. Typically they have Christian values and are typically anti-Semitic. Um... I suppose those white supremacists here in America might be xenophobic and they apparently definitely uh, would like to inflict hate crime against Sikhs at temple their religious holy day at their temple okay where they host a soup kitchen where other people come in there and they get uh, potentially killed and have to run for their lives and hide in cabinets as well if I'm DHS tell you exactly what I need delivered to my doorstep. A white supremacist with white supremacist tattoos that was formerly in a white supremacist band. Um, well, where'd you get this guy from? Well, he's ex-army. He was in some PSYOP programs and some other stuff. He was less than honorably discharged. Uh, he's still up for a mission or a training exercise. All right. Well, little does this dupe know that uh, after we kill some people on the inside, the three of us, we're splitting. And you're going to go outside and engage in a firefight with the police, pal. And uh, we don't expect to see you again until uh, we see you tomorrow on the news. Okay? You'll be the one shooter, and you'll be dead. And, um, you know, try to go out in the blades if you can take a cop out with you, a cop or two. Now, uh, I don't know how exactly how many cops engaged you in that firefight. I don't know if it was some kind of lone Rambo cop, but all the images that I saw were tons of cops in riot gear and protective uh, battle gear rolling up on armored vehicles. Um, normally when you hear the term false flag you might um, interpret that on a large scale like countries and uh, battleships and flags flying from ships, naval ships, something like that or like the Reichstag and you know involving co two countries well, my friends, uh, there are multiple types of false flags. And have you ever heard of firefighter arsonists or firefighter arson? 
all right? That's where the fire department is actually the one setting the fires, okay? Now, sometimes they get a fire bug, a pyromaniac, who just likes to set fires, and they shouldn't have hired that guy, but he slipped through the, uh, you know, process. But then there are, uh, sometimes there's been cases of fire departments, and, uh, you know, they're competitive in the departments in their districts and stuff, and uh, sometimes, you know, maybe one department will be teasing another department because they've been handling so many fires. And, uh, you know, maybe sometimes when things slow down or people need a, re a refresher course, <laughs> we'll just go set a few fires, all right? Then we'll go look like heroes when we put those fires out, okay? The firefighters are, in fact, the arsonists, okay? And then they go and they battle the fire, and I don't know if the arson investigator is in on it or what, but, uh, you know, that's how they usually catch those guys. Have you ever seen that movie Backdraft? An arson investigator of someone that knows a lot about fire and how fire, you know, fire's alive, right? I mean, and anyone that knows how to, that knows about that beast and how it moves, then, you know, and uh, uh, an arson investigator, that is a very detailed job, my friend. And uh, who do you think would be best to pull off an arson that's undetectable to the arson investigator? Maybe a firefighter, huh? You see where I'm going with all this? Do you, are you hearing what I'm trying to tell you? I actually wrote down some notes tonight, guys, because I was trying to be uh, really clear and concise about this. All right? The Department of Homeland Security was created, you know, in a heated rush right after 9-11. All right? Sometimes people need a refresher about why the police need all the guns and the people need none of the guns. And uh, some people are going to have to die. They'll have to be sacrificed, even the cop. I mean, hopefully that cop lives. And, you know, one last thing. I believe in both these recent mass shootings in Aurora, Colorado and in Milwaukee, Wisconsin at the Sikh Temple. In both those cases, I believe at least one of the victims at both locations were intended victims. I'm D-Lake for Prez, the Infowars Nightly News.